I like old buildings, you know, I like um, to kind of get the feel of what they would maybe try and get the feel of what they would have been like when people actually lived in them. I know the castle as part of my neighbourhood. I really didn't know what to expect. I just thought it would be interesting to do a project focusing on the castle and the architecture and then just to see what happened from there. Just open to whatever I'm going to learn on this course. I think it's very, it's very interesting the the amount of um, detail that there is around the the castle is amazing. I found it very interesting and I found that it was the sort of project that anyone could, could do um, and you could make it as your own as much as you wanted to or um, just use the castle itself as an inspiration and go from there or um, just maybe take something that was already there and go with it. So it was very easy for anybody to take it on. They gave us that um, option, you know, deciding for ourselves. You know, they didn't. They gave us a few hints and that, but we nearly all decided what we wanted to do, do ourselves. Initially, I found it hard to decide what I wanted to do, but you know, once I got in and I picked a design, and that was it's easy enough, you know. Um, we just used the photographs that they had taken around the castle, and we started doing cut work and, and uh, mono prints based on um, plaster work and details we saw in the castle. A lot of people who came thinking they couldn't do anything artistic have been inspired to um, even bring things home and work on them and do them in their own time. So that's been a real encouragement. I mean, the more you do of these crafts, the better you get at them.
Yeah, that's been part of the, the fun of working as a group um, and having people, the artists themselves there to guide us and inspire us, but then um, talking to each other as well and learning from each other and yeah, and encouraging people to see what others are doing and oh yes, well I can do that or I think I'll take that idea and go in this direction with it. People have gotten more com confident and more in tune with um, what's expected or the possibilities of the different work we've been doing. You know, we've kind of gelled together and we've worked on things together and I've enjoyed that as well, you know. All you need is benches, chairs and tables and a bit of light. And, you know, that's all you want. It gets ideas into your head that, like, you know, I think I'd like to find something and do it at home myself, you know. Um, I have done things at home just based on my own ideas, using the skills. Um, because it's based around photographs, anybody can take photographs and then do the monoprinting or do the cut work from a photograph of any kind. you kind of get into it you want to finish it and do it more and it's even when you're not doing it it's, it's on your mind and you're just looking at it in a different way when you know with the paper cushions and the 3d and it just um, brings it a bit more alive I think It's in, a, it's in the Celtic gene to have good hands. I'm always working with my hands and that, you know, doing different types of crafts. Because in the beginning we were all a little bit shy of, um, you know, what we were doing and showing it. You find that, you know, maybe it's just as good. Mm. Or other people think it is anyway, <laughs> even if you don't yourself. Yeah, well, I suppose they've got a bit more confident in what they're doing. I mean, we all started off not knowing anything at all. But, um, yeah, it just, you, you have a bit more confidence, I suppose. You're a bit more aware of what, you, of what you can do. Not so much dependent on somebody giving you actual directions.
yeah, I think sometimes you think you can't do something and then once you get in and, you know, think about it, you find you can, you're very well able to do it. Designs that we worked on on the first day and, and did mono printing, um, we're using those to design wallpaper. It's a marvellous project. We've had the tutelage of two excellent artists working in different styles and, and mediums and, uh, or media. And um, it's, it's an opportunity I would not have got otherwise. Never done anything like this before. I've never, I've not, not RT. Yeah, I've never gone to art classes. Don't even remember doing it at school. So um, I'm enjoying it. great to be, I think, included in stuff because I think once you pass a certain age, you, you tend to become invisible to a lot of people. I, I love filling the time that I now have with creative, creative things. This is the icing on the cake. <laughs> Any, anything that's creative, because it just makes you feel so much better. I retired in November and I worked really nine to five longer and people were worried, like, Lass, you're going to be bored, you know, that because I know I had many hobbies outside work, so, so this is something that will really help. When I was young, we didn't have these opportunities that are there now. Like you know, the schools didn't teach anything like that, and we didn't have. I didn't do any art in school. <laughs> well, it's something I never done because when I went to school, we didn't do art. Art wasn't included. You had to pay to do art extra if you wanted to do it. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying it and like they give you so much encouragement and you know it doesn't have to be perfect you know. I 
I found the teachers were very helpful. Nobody put you down, like you know, and they, they gave you the confidence to do, to try and achieve something, you know, and I, I, they never made you feel that you weren't uh, contributing in any way, like you know, that you weren't able to do it. It has the lightheartedness in it enough to, to have the... It has the potential to give people like me more than just an interest in the course, doing it, that you know, we even start doing a bit of drawings and things at home yourself. I can't wait for all my friends to come and see my work. Well, I've achieved something there. I hope I will have, you know.